All right, speaking of traffic, imagine having dinner in New York and being back home in San Antonio for the night beat and less time than it takes to cross town on 1604. Sounds like science fiction? Well, thanks to groundbreaking work right here in San Antonio, that reality could be closer than you think. In a small room at UTSA, this rather nondescript tube represents what could be a turning point in travel and space exploration. So hypersonic testing is in really high demand right now uh, from uh, a lot of different places in the government, whether it's uh, space sector, defense, there's commercial companies that are interested in this. And UTSA is stepping up to that hypersonic challenge, designing materials that can withstand the speed of sound and then some. We're actually one of the few universities in the country that can do Mach 7 Plus on campus. We're only one of about five. Mach 7, by the way, represents seven times the speed of sound, or roughly 5,000 miles per hour. At that speed, you can fly around the Earth in less than 12 hours. Once a test gets started here in the lab, everyone will move into this room here to watch on the monitors. That ensures everything stays safe. So this one over here, it was our first prototype. And as you can see, it's made of uh, silicon rubber and aluminum bars. Mm -hmm. And with this, we were able to show for first time in the world that uh, you can use architectural materials to have control over hypersonic flow. As older folks, of course, remember the Concorde. It flew at Mach 2, twice the speed of sound, but it hit problems, one being the sonic boom. It can only go that fast over water. So as long as you're flying supersonic speed, you basically sweep across everything on the ground and everywhere hears a sonic boom as you fly by. But can they create boomless technology? They tell me it's possible. And at the end of the day, it's the cost equation that may be most important, especially when it comes to space exploration. So right now, yeah, every time that you fly one of these vehicles, you just need to get rid of it. And then, yeah use another one. So it's expensive. So it's very, expen <laughs> it's, it's very expensive, yeah. More efficient fuels, more, uh, more efficient airframes, and making things safer, making, uh, you know, improved propulsion devices and, and thrusters and things like that. All things this multidisciplinary group is researching, whether it be for space, travel, or domestic flight. And yes, these researchers believe that a 20 minute flight from San Antonio to Chicago is possible but it might be a few decades away. A lot of the work that we do at the university level, it's not gonna impact you tomorrow, but it could impact 10, 15, 20 years down the road. 